Welcome everybody to a new Angular tip. Today I'm going to show you a nice tip on how to unsubscribe observables. Whenever you work in Angular, you should always try to use the async pipe to subscribe to observables. Using the async pipe has a couple of advantages. By using the async pipe, you don't have to care about the subscription handling because the async pipe automatically handles the subscription under the hood means it automatically unsubscribes from your source observable if the component gets destroyed. Furthermore, you don't have to take care of change detection yourself. This is especially useful in scenarios where you use the on-push change detection strategy. In such scenarios, the async pipe automatically calls mark for check under the hood. But back to the topic. Sometimes it happens that you cannot use the async pipe and you have to subscribe inside your component class. In such cases, it's very important that you properly handle the subscriptions, especially for bigger enterprise projects. Because if you don't handle the subscription correctly, chances are high that at some point you might run down into a memory leak. I have a great blog post on the topic that explains in detail when you are actually creating a memory leak with observable subscriptions. You can find the link to the blog post below in the description of this video. So now imagine we have a simple foo component that injects a foo service and then in the ng-on-init lifecycle method it uses a public accessible stream from this foo service called foo stream and subscribes to it. So we always want to unsubscribe from such an observable when the component gets destroyed. And how do we get notified when the component gets destroyed? Well, we have the onDestroy lifecycle hook. We can start off by creating a class field named subscriptions which is of type subscription array, and we can initialize it as an empty array. Whenever we now subscribe, we can push the subscription into our subscriptions array. In the ng on destroy call, we then have to loop through all the subscription and call unsubscribe on the subscription. That way we make sure that all the subscriptions are cleaned up once our component gets destroyed. I want to show you another way, which is my preferred way of unsubscribing from subscription. I think this way is more elegant and it's also easier for linters to detect. So let's revert our code so that we again start with a simple subscription, but without any unsubscribe logic. So I prefer to create a destroy stream, which is a new subject. As the name of this destroy stream indicates, this stream is meant to emit values whenever our component gets destroyed. So inside our ng-on-destroy, we should call destroy.next. So the destroy stream notifies us when our component gets destroyed. So basically, we just streamified our ng-on-destroy lifecycle hook. Now, how do we use it to unsubscribe from our foo stream? RxJS offers a nice operator called take until. So we can pipe our foo stream and then use the take until and we pass the destroy stream to the take until as a first argument. Our foo stream will be subscribed until the destroy stream emits a value. So that's it. Nowadays, many linters are capable of detecting subscribe calls in your component and will lint an error if you don't use a take until operator in front of the subscribe call. However, always try to use the ASIC pipe whenever it's possible. Also note that this approach is only necessary in components and not in services. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel to get updated about future RxJS or Angular tips.